Hi, this is Mrs. Timmons, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of saving a book review to the library catalog. So first you want to go ahead and log in to the library catalog using your own account. There is a login button in the top right hand corner, and you will use the same uh, Gmail address that you use for everything. So it'll be your first name, dot your last name, dot your year of graduation, and then the same password that you use for that account. When you log in, you'll notice that instead of one tab and just a login button, you will now see more tabs and you will see your name displayed in the top. Now when you go to the catalog button and you search for your title, I'm going to search for Divergent, you will actually have some review buttons available to you now. But your first step is going to be to pick the correct title. We actually, for Divergent, have several different editions. There's the DVD, the book, the audiobook, the ebook, and you want to make sure that you attach your review to the correct record. So if you read the book, you need to find the version with a little icon of the book and make sure that you are picking the right one. Click on Details. And that is where you will now see a review tab because you're logged in. So when I click on reviews, this is where I have the button to add my review. So let me go and get my review. What I've done is I've started a Word document and I've written my review out in it. The reason I did this instead of just free typing it into the library catalog, uh, sometimes the library catalog will sign you out if it's taking too long or you could have an um, issue where you lose your Wi-Fi connection. So it's always good to start in some other program, uh, work with it, write it out. Also, the library catalog will only take a review that is 1,000 characters or less. So if you are um, in your document, you've written it out, you think you're good, you need to click on the review tab in Microsoft Word and then click on the word count. And the button that you're looking for is characters with spaces. So my entire review, including the spaces, punctuation, everything, takes 770 characters. That's perfect. That's under the 1,000 character limit. So I'm going to go ahead and use it as is. But if you did this and your uh, review was over 1,000 characters, you would need to edit it down, take stuff out. Otherwise, the computer will cut it off exactly at 1,000 characters. So because mine is good, I'm going to copy it. And then go back and hit that Add Review button. I'm going to rate it. It was awesome. I'm going to paste my review in. So again, remember that you are not um, summarizing the action of the book because that is already in the catalog in the book record. Here you're really telling someone what you liked about it or didn't like about it, why you think someone else would or would not like the book. And then remember at the end, you do want to sign your review, but this is going on the internet so you don't want to use your full name. I would recommend you use your first name, your last initial, and then you can put your graduating class just like this. When you're done with that, click Save. You will not see it immediately. That's because your review will go to the librarians to approve, but that's usually done in less than 24 hours, and then you will be able to um, show people your review on the library catalog. Thank you.